your left, please, one. Football and film go together well. It's a place where talents can uh, develop, where dreams and creativity can unfold. And so I think it's a very good combination. And when we talk about football and uh, cinema, these are always places where people get together, where people feel a sense of being together and they enjoy one and the same good thing and that brings about cohesion, a sense of belonging and that is why uh, it seems uh, football and film are very much apart but they belong together in a way and this is also shown in the film. It's all about integration. We talk about integration and inclusion a lot nowadays. When I was a child it was quite normal. We didn't talk about it. I didn't care who was playing with me and how much money the parents had and what parents believed in. We just wanted to have fun together. And we supported one another, both on the, during a match, and uh, we were friends also beyond. And that is the important thing, because only a few people can become well-paid professional players. But amateur sports is much more than just the professional top. We need that professional top level, but I also think that those professional players should always be in touch with the base, with the rank and file people, with the amateur clubs. And this is what we wanted to show. And we wanted to show with this project that arts and football should go together. They open a space for young people to experience something, to develop common goals, collective goals. And I think we succeeded that strengthening the base is the most important thing because they lay the foundation no matter where we are in Germany, in Denmark or elsewhere. We had 11 directors from the Munich University and uh, we, of course, Benedetta Films, we also have very close relations with the Munich University. So we talked a lot to each other. We talked about the episodes, how different they were supposed to be or do we want to have a common aesthetics? There were many different uh, ideas and considerations about the artistic purpose of this project. And we said very soon that we are interested in the diversity of uh, the football club clubs and that is why we chose the clubs together with Philip Lahm Foundation so we were specifically looking for football clubs with lots of girls playing where we have inclusive football and then we thought about how are we going to combine those episodes in uh, this compilation film how are we going to unite all the episodes so I think the challenge for us was to work very closely with the filmmakers and find a specific cinematographic language for each of the episodes. It was important for us to stick to uh, documentary formats and uh, we always had a director and a DOP. Uh, sometimes we also had a sound engineer going together with the director, but not always. So it was always a very small filmmaker's team, and we wanted to have a meeting with the young football players, with the young athletes on an equal footing. So, of course, we had directors taking decisions, but it was a very interactive process. It is very important when you make a documentary to work together with your protagonists uh, and uh, see them as equals. There were many talks we had when preparing for the shooting, also about the formalities, how are we going to make sure that within such a short period of three to five days for shooting, how are we going to manage to capture all the important moments that you want to show? How do we create such moments? Because documentary film means not just putting the camera on and then seeing what is going to happen. It takes a lot of uh, preparation, it takes a lot of talking. When we see films made about sports during the last 10 years, many things have changed also. What do you think about that? Do you think football is a different thing compared to what it was like 10 years ago? I can only speak about myself. When I look at what's happening, during a match, I don't think much has changed. Football was always a very 
open kind of sports where everyone can participate. Uh, but of course, it's the relationship between football, the athletes, the clubs, and uh, society. What we see today is much more uh, women's football. At my uh, in my time, we were very exotic. But again, football has a great potential, offers so many opportunities. Um, that is a core element of football: being open to everyone around. But then, of course, as far as uh, society is concerned, of course there are changes that also affect football and the clubs. Can you compare a film with the tension and uh, the sense of surprise that happens when a team plays? Well, I played a lot. Or of course, uh, it was a different feeling for me to be playing instead of watching a movie. Of course, I know what is happening uh, in the football uh, field when I watch a film about football. I have the expert knowledge at the back of my mind. Uh, but when I watch a movie, that's relaxing for me. I enjoy sitting there quietly for 90 minutes, 100 minutes, just enjoying a movie. But of course, it's very difficult for me to judge how good are the uh, actors, how good is the director. I can only say at the end of a, of a movie I liked it or I didn't like it. But of course, when I watch uh, football, I just look at the expert angles. But when I watch a film, generally a film, I just enjoy it. But I think the kind of tension, the kind of uh, sense of surprise, uh, that is typical for both football and film. You always have to see where the culmination point is. And at the end of the day, what you always want to have at the end of any football a match or film, a happy ending.